Hi there, friends. I'm so glad you took time to watch this interview today. I'm really excited. First of all, I'm excited because guess what? It's Christmas. Well, it's close to Christmas. And because it's close to Christmas, the interview today is with Bill Abbott, who is the president and CEO of Great American Media. And you may or may not know that the Great American Channel recently merged with Pure Flix. And we've talked to lots of people who have worked with Pure Flix and done movies with Pure Flix. But Pure Flix now, um, in partnership with Great American Family, they've created this brand new platform. So there's so much more content for us that's faith and family friendly. And Bill is going to tell us all about the Christmas lineup and all about what is going on in this big world of both streaming and linear and there's so much content for you and for your friends and family to watch so stay tuned for this chat that I'm having with Bill Abbott from New York this morning um, I'm in Franklin Tennessee my name is Jean Thomason and this is Momentum Influencers Network <laughs> Hi there, friends. I'm excited to welcome you into the studio today because with us today is a most exciting guest, at least to me, because I'm a movie lover and a movie watcher. And we have Bill Abbott from New York. He's speaking to us today. He is the president and CEO of Great American Media, which we're excited to tell you. Well, no, I'm not going to give it away. I'm going to let him tell the story. So, Bill, welcome to Insight Studios. Welcome to Momentum Influencers Network today. It's so nice. We are honored to talk with you today. Welcome. Well, likewise, Sheen. Thanks for having me. Um, thank you for being here, and especially now because it's Christmas. Yes, it We're is. super excited about that. And I know you have been working for months and months and months to get ready to showcase the platform, the, the lineup of movies for Christmas. So let me begin, begin because I haven't met you before. How in the world have you come to be in a place to be the president and CEO of a movie network? How did that happen for you? Where did you start? Well, I've been blessed throughout my career and worked with great people and uh, was uh, started in the research area, which provided me with a great understanding of not only programming, but ad sales and distribution, all the different areas of the business. So uh, I was uh, in research at a TV rep firm and ultimately moved to CBN Family Channel, which was the one of the most successful early networks uh, that was uh, that was launched and was purchased then in uh, 1997 by uh, Fox and Hive Saban, at which point it went in a different direction. And I moved to Hallmark in 2000, ran ad sales there, and then ultimately became president and CEO in 2009. So it's been a fun journey uh, in which, you know, certainly uh, I've learned a lot and uh, still learning every day, given the changes in the industry. And there have been so many. I love to know that about you being part of CBN. And now what I've read is that Great American has been the fastest growing network for the past 12 years. Yeah. Tell uh, us about that. Yeah, no, the last 12 Tw months. We're, 12 we're, months, uh, I'm so sorry. We're so excited about the, the progress that we've made in a very short period of time. Uh, it is in the, we, the uh, headwinds against the linear landscape are well documented, as we know. Uh, yet we're up triple digits in terms of ratings over the past 12 months. Uh, we've had a very, very successful 2023. And we're just building something great, not only on the linear side, but we're taking over a platform on the streaming side, uh, which was known as Pure Flix, now Great American Pure Flix, in which, you know, the founders of it were really visionaries and they were in streaming before streaming was cool. If you look back to 2016, you know, streaming was just an afterthought in this industry. And yet this uh, group of individuals founded Pure Flix with the notion of providing content to the faith-based viewer who is dramatically underserved in this country. And uh, they did a phenomenal job building it and ultimately selling to Sony. And uh, then uh, this past year, Sony came in as a partner within Great American Media and rolled Pure Flix up underneath us. So exciting that we live in an age 
where you can, through technology, reach millions of people. And I appreciate the fact that you said that this is an underserved audience because as a consumer, my husband and I have felt like that for a long time. So this is super exciting for people to have family values, faith and family movies. And so talk to us about how, um, how these movies have been able to come together and find a home on this platform. Yeah, so, you know, the whole genre of family friendly, which I've been in my entire career is uh, so unfortunately under under utilized, under programmed, under promoted, uh, really overlooked by uh, the entertainment world and the entertainment landscape, even though it's a highly, I think the majority of the country wants to see family friendly content, uh, yet it doesn't win awards, it's not uh, going to be the uh, the water cooler buzz necessarily. It's not going to get your next job at Fox, and so you know it gets overlooked to a to a large degree. And yet uh, there's such a big audience out there for it. And with two platforms now dedicated to it, one in streaming, one on the linear side, reaching uh, over 50 million homes, we're in a very good position to be the leader in the category and become ultimately the the go-to resource for family-friendly content. That is so exciting. And and just as one of a consumer, I want to thank you. I just want to thank you for your effort and for being tenacious to go after this, to stay in this world. And I want to say congratulations. And also, as I'm sure you and your team say, thanks be to God for making a way um, for this to happen for consumers. That is, it's, in, it's incredible. Well, Gene, so, I mean, you, you touched on something there that's near and dear to all of our hearts here in the feedback we get from viewers and the passion they have for what we're doing is it's unprecedented in my career. And I can't think of another linear network or streaming service that has such loyalty and has fans who are so appreciative of what a channel or a streaming service is doing. And our fans are so appreciative and everything we do, we do for them. We do it with them in mind we appreciate their sensibilities. We appreciate their support. And ultimately, we are very committed to providing a great experience for them that uh, they can enjoy and they can get away from some of the other things that we see in the entertainment landscape. Okay, let's dive into Christmas sure. because I got all ready for Christmas. I wore my special candy cane um, earrings for us today just to remind us that we can talk about that. So I know you have an amazing lineup, so tell us all about it. We do, and uh, it has been uh, 21 movies that we have this Christmas season. Yep, original that we've created, and we've spent just where we are, uh, we've agonized over every script, every wardrobe choice, every casting decision, every location, every musical theme and element in the movies. And uh, we are so happy with the slate and where it came out. And, you know, we, we, uh, we launched in 2021 with 12 Christmas movies and, and those movies were good. And then last year we took that to 18 movies and those movies were better. And this year, it's by far and away our best slate that we've had. It combines the talent and star power of uh, people like Candace Cameron Bure and Danica McKellar and Jen Lilly and Trevor Donovan and, and so many others. And I hesitate to name names because inevitably I'm leaving people out. But uh, it is, yeah, it has uh, been a, uh, a terrific Christmas season to date. And we have a number of great projects coming up that we uh, are... Uh, very focused on now promoting as we go into December some of the projects that we have coming and one that we're particularly excited about is a, a movie called uh, uh, Peppermint and Postcards that stars uh, uh, Christopher Russell has become Mr. Christmas in many ways and he does a great job in this movie and is really terrific and, uh, and I know our viewers will really enjoy that. Uh, we also have had movies that were on uh, linear that now have migrated to pure flicks. And there's a movie called Christmas Blessing that stars Lori Laughlin, uh, James Tupper, and uh, Jesse Hutch. That is a wonderful journey all about giving back and how uh, that is uh, ultimately so much a part of the season. 
and a celebration of the season. And without question, uh, that movie is one of the highest quality movies I've ever worked on uh, for during a, uh, for a Christmas slate, which is one big differentiator for us. We want to be the high quality. Not only do we want to produce family and faith friendly content, that's a given. We want to be high quality. I think the genre over the years has gotten a bad name. Some of it well-deserved, quite frankly, because networks take content and they just put it on and they don't really do a lot of, uh, they're not rigorous around the choices that they make and where their focus is. And they don't do it with the viewer in mind. They just do it to create it, put it on the air, create a lot of volume. We're not in the volume game. We are in the quality game. And so last year, in fact, we had a movie that we produced that we didn't air during Christmas because we didn't think it was strong enough. We saved it and, and, uh, and went in a different direction. So, you know, we're very focused on quality and the talent that goes with our content is they're the best in the business. And speaking of which, Candace Cameron Bure had a movie uh, that uh, ran uh, this past Friday night called My Christmas Hero that was a tremendous story about uh, the military and she plays a doctor in, in, uh, on a military base and, and it is honoring country, honoring faith and honoring the military that makes all of our lives possible that we're so grateful to. So that will also premiere on Pure Flix on December 1st. So you can see how streaming and linear come together and offer the consumer a great experience. If they want to watch it in the lean back way and linear, we're available there. If they're taking a more active approach and for a very uh, small amount of money a month, they can subscribe to Great American Pure Flix, where a lot of the content on Great American Family will run on Great American Pure Flix, plus an array of other content that we've acquired for that service. And one of the beauties of streaming versus linear is we have so much more content and streaming that can be appropriate for all members of the family. Whereas in linear, you know, you're kind of tied to that 24 seven rotation of, of content. Uh, in streaming, uh, we can uh, be in the kids genre. For example, we have the VeggieTales uh, car uh, cartoon and, and series on Pure Flix. We can be more dramatic and some of the projects we have coming up are, are a little bit more dramatic for 2024. So there's a, a good mix of content on Pure Flix, Great American Family. Uh, certainly has uh, great content on it as well, but it's a very different lean back experience. Wow. Hey, do you mind if I go back and sure. ask you, because I read that you and Candace went to the military base, Lewis McCord, and got to screen the movie for troops. How was that? Oh, uh, it was uh, very emotional. Uh, you know, you yes. see the commitment that mm -hmm. is made uh, by uh, the military and the places that they have to travel to and the conditions that they have to live within. And one, uh, one story I heard was 130, 140 degree heat in, in places in the Middle East uh, in the summertime and how challenging that is. And then you think of the time they spend away from their families and the dedication of the families to buy in and be supportive is tremendous. So, you know, the military is uh, very much, I think, underappreciated in this country. And I think the commitment is not really, there's not, there's a lack of understanding of really what that commitment entails. And not only for the person serving, but for the family who, you know, probably worries every day on, on some levels and uh, is without their loved ones in at times like Christmas. So we really want to reinforce that commitment and that dedication and uh, their overall uh, uh, importance, critically important to the, the, all of our lives. Thank you so much for making an effort to do that for military families, that we, are, we have military in our family and we understand that the whole, um, that they're underserved as well. Yeah. And so I really appreciate that commitment and I'm looking forward to seeing My Christmas Hero. I haven't watched that. Well, well that it premieres. It's premiering on Friday. Uh, premier, well, on Pure Flix, it drops on Friday. It premiered on okay, Great American on Family last Friday, but it will run throughout the schedule through the Christmas, okay. uh, through January 1st. Great. So 
One more time for our viewers, they can find these, these 21 Christmas movies on the Pure Flix for streaming and on Great American for linear, right? Yes, uh, the majority okay. are on uh, streaming. Not all of them, the majority are, and the 21 will all premiere on linear. And then there's so much other content that both platforms uh, contain right. in terms of Christmas. We are all things Christmas at this time of year. And, uh, and again, the viewer response has been phenomenal. That is so exciting. And thank you again and again and as, as a consumer. I'm, I'm so grateful and I know that I speak for all the people who will be watching this to say we, we're, so, we're so glad to have something our family can gather around and watch and something that, ha that goes deeper into um, and to touch our hearts with, with a great sense of um, value-based and family-friendly. I'm so grateful and, for that. And so, Jean, you know, faith too. Yes. You know, I mean, it, the, the way faith is portrayed very often in entertainment and in this country is not in a positive light. It's, it's uh, you know, very often the butt of a joke or, you know, not, uh, not taken seriously. And we have deep respect, obviously, for, uh, for faith and for and the importance of it and the importance of it in family life the importance of it for an individual what it can mean to people in times of joy and in times of hardship and uh that is a that is a critical and critically important piece of what we're doing well lastly what what do we have to look forward to in 24. so uh we have a, a really a, a slate that has so much variety and we're excited that uh, a, a couple of projects that I'll just mention coming up. We have a, a series called County Rescue that is uh, that has has an, a, an ensemble cast that is extremely talented and under the radar, I think, in terms of you know the overall entertainment community. And Julia Riley is a, a star in the making in Keller Forms and. Percy Bell and Stacy Patino and that cast comes together and really you see their lives as EMS uh, rescue who another area that's underserved uh, and how they operate and how their faith plays into their day to day and not only within their jobs, but within their home life and the challenges that they face. So we're very excited about that series a little more dramatic for us, but I think it, it will play well. And then we have a Christmas movie that was created by, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Christmas movie. We are working on Christmas, uh, actually, for 2024 already, believe it or not. Uh, but uh, we have an Easter movie that is created by Candace Cameron Bure. We'll star Laura Osnes. Is, uh, we have not announced that yet, but that will be a, uh, a terrific journey. It's a beautifully written script and incorporates elements of faith and family and all of the things that are so appropriate at Easter time. So uh, we are uh, very, very much looking forward to that. And again, you know, celebrating those occasions that are so important to people and that they can feel good about spending two hours watching a movie and not have uh, the, some of the issues that they may have when they're watching anything else really in the entertainment space. Amen. Amen. Well, you are doing what Jesus said, that we're salt and we're light and we're here to, to make a difference and bring God's kingdom into the earth. Thank you, Bill. Thank you so much. Thank you God very bless much. you. And, Mer thank you. Mary and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. Merry yes. Christmas.